In the quiet days between Christmas and New Year's, while most of the world was winding down, something extraordinary was happening at Starbase. The massive Booster 15 stood gleaming under the Texas sun, undergoing its critical cryogenic tests. Hour after hour, as the liquid oxygen flowed through its tanks, the team watched, measured, and evaluated. This wasn't just another test. It was a glimpse into what 2025 holds for humanity's journey to the stars. But that's not even the biggest news. Just hours ago, SpaceX dropped a bombshell that sent ripples through the space community. Flight 7 of Starship is scheduled for January 10th, and it's packed with groundbreaking firsts that nobody saw coming. The stakes have never been higher. The first ever Block 2 Starship carrying actual Starlink payload simulators. Not just carrying them, but planning to deploy them. The first reflight of a Raptor engine pulled from the history-making Booster 12 catch. And perhaps most intriguingly, new metallic tiles with active cooling systems that could revolutionize how we think about atmospheric re-entry. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we're tracking these developments around the clock. The speed of innovation at SpaceX hasn't just continued through the new year, it's accelerating. What we're about to witness isn't just another test flight, it's a preview of how space travel will transform in 2025. Let's dive right in. At Starbase, every moment tells a story of human ingenuity pushing boundaries. As Booster 15 underwent its lengthy cryogenic test this Saturday, the Texas sun painted long shadows across its metallic surface. The liquid oxygen tank test stretched from midday into the darkness, a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. Each test, each modification, brings us one step closer to making life multiplanetary. Against the backdrop of cars and people moving about the facility, Booster 15's true scale becomes apparent. Standing taller than a 23-story building, these rockets aren't just machines, they're monuments to human ambition. As Booster 15 made its way back to the ring yard, the ground trembled beneath its massive transport stand. Every movement, every adjustment, calculated with precision. But while Booster 15 commanded attention, another giant was preparing for an even more historic journey. Flight 7's Booster 14 carries within it a piece of history, a Raptor engine, serial number 314, salvaged from the caught Booster 12. This isn't just hardware being reused, it's the first chapter in a new era of spaceflight economics. Each successful reuse brings us closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. The Block 2 Starship represents the biggest leap forward yet in the program's history. SpaceX has equipped it with revolutionary features that push the boundaries of aerospace engineering. The new metallic tiles, some featuring active cooling systems, aren't just improvements. They're experiments that could reshape our understanding of atmospheric re-entry. These aren't minor tweaks. They're bold steps toward making spacecraft more resilient and reusable than ever before. Perhaps the most exciting addition is the payload bay, now holding 10 Starlink payload simulators. This isn't just added weight, it's a full demonstration of Starship's primary mission, delivering substantial mass to orbit. When these dummy satellites deploy on their suborbital trajectory into the Indian Ocean, they'll validate systems critical for future commercial missions. Each successful deployment brings us closer to the day when Starship will deploy real satellites, expanding global connectivity to the most remote corners of Earth. The tower catch system has undergone significant upgrades since Flight 6's aborted catch attempt. Engineers have swarmed over every sensor, every mechanism, determined to perfect this crucial recovery technique. The tower's robotic arms stand ready like giant hands prepared to catch a falling arrow. Success here isn't just about saving hardware. It's about proving that rapid reusability is possible even for the largest rocket ever built. But the most visible change to Booster 14 sits near its common dome. New reinforcements unlike anything we've seen before. These aren't typical stringers. They're specifically designed to handle the increased mass of the Block 2 ship, about 300 tons heavier than its predecessor. Every weld, every reinforcement, tells the story of lessons learned and challenges overcome. The preparation for Flight 7 has been meticulous. The flight termination system installation serves as a sobering reminder of the risks involved. 
While nobody wants to see these charges detonate, their presence ensures safety comes first, protecting both people and property should anything go off course. Meanwhile, the landscape of Starbase continues to evolve. Tower 2's construction progresses steadily, with its arm installation jig now secured and waiting. The Launch Mount B's water-cooled steel deck nears completion, while nearby, components of the flame deflector assembly await their moment to redirect the fury of future launches. Inside the Star Factory, glimpses of the future become tangible. The human landing system airlock, sitting quietly in its testing bay, represents more than just hardware. It's a portal through which humans will one day step onto other worlds. This is where dreams of lunar exploration merge with engineering reality. The recent developments in Starlink technology paint an equally compelling picture of SpaceX's ambitious future. The announcement of version 3 satellites promises to revolutionize global connectivity. A single Starship launch carrying these advanced satellites could add 60 terabits per second of capacity, equivalent to more than 20 Falcon 9 missions. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a quantum leap in space-based communications. The numbers tell a staggering story of growth. In just one year, SpaceX activated Starlink in 27 new markets, bringing connectivity potential to 2.8 billion people. The new Bastrop factory, spanning 65,000 square meters, stands ready to meet this explosive demand. From 2023 to 2024, network capacity surged to nearly 350 terabits per second. With version three satellites on the horizon, six Starship launches could double this entire capacity. SpaceX's direction has sparked intense discussion, especially following Elon's recent statement about prioritizing Mars over lunar missions. This isn't just about choosing destinations, it's about defining humanity's path into the solar system. The focus remains clear, master the art of delivering substantial mass to orbit, then to Mars. Each flight, each test, each innovation builds toward this ultimate goal. The appearance of a version 3 Raptor engine at McGregor tells its own story of relentless innovation. With 53% less weight than its predecessors and 280 tons of thrust, up from 185 in version 1, these engines represent a quantum leap in propulsion technology. When they take flight, they'll carry not just rockets but our hopes for becoming a spacefaring civilization. As we count down to Flight 7, each detail, each modification, each test brings us closer to making space travel routine. This isn't just another launch. It's a culmination of countless innovations, lessons learned, and obstacles overcome. The path to Mars runs through these tests, these improvements, these moments of truth when theory meets reality in the skies above Texas. The story of Flight 7 is more than just technical achievements. It's about human determination, innovation, and the unwavering pursuit of a multi-planetary future. As the launch date approaches, every engineer, every technician, every person involved carries a piece of this historic mission. This isn't just SpaceX's journey. It's humanity's next giant leap toward the stars. The developments at Starbase, the innovations in Starlink, the advances in engine technology, all these threads weave together into a singular vision of humanity's future in space. Each success, each lesson learned, brings us closer to the day when rockets launch as regularly as airplanes, when living on multiple planets isn't science fiction, but reality. As we stand on the brink of this historic launch, one thing becomes crystal clear. 2025 isn't just another year in spaceflight. It's the year where dreams meet reality. Flight 7 represents more than just technical achievements. It embodies humanity's unwavering drive to push boundaries and explore the unknown. The developments we've covered today, from the revolutionary Block 2 Starship to the groundbreaking version 3 Starlink satellites, paint a picture of acceleration in space innovation that few could have predicted. With each passing day, the goal of making humanity multiplanetary grows closer to reality. By this time next week, we might be celebrating another successful tower catch, witnessing the triumphant return of a reused Raptor engine and analyzing data from the first ever Starship payload deployment. These aren't just milestones, they're stepping stones on our path to Mars. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the latest developments in this extraordinary journey.
If you want to stay informed about every breakthrough, every test, and every launch, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts and let us know in the comments. What aspect of Flight 7 excites you the most? Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one launch at a time. Two rocket engines stand before us, both SpaceX's Raptor, the most advanced rocket engine ever built. But the story of how one evolved into the other reveals something extraordinary about the future of space travel. The original Raptor was already a technological marvel, a complex masterpiece of pipes, valves, and wiring that earned the nickname Flying Spaghetti Monster from SpaceX engineers. It pushed the boundaries of what we believe possible in rocket propulsion, then came its successor. Gone was the intricate maze of components, replaced by something so streamlined, so elegantly simple, that when SpaceX unveiled it, even the CEO of United Launch Alliance thought it couldn't be real. Yet this stripped-down engine wasn't just simpler, it was 30% more powerful. This transformation wasn't about aesthetics, it was about SpaceX's unwavering mission to make humanity a multi-planetary species. Every unnecessary component removed, every gram of weight saved, every process simplified, brings us closer to Mars. This is the story of how SpaceX achieved the impossible, taking the world's most complex rocket engine and making it simpler, stronger, and ready for mass production. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The journey to create Raptor began in the most unlikely of places, with failure. Back in 2002, when SpaceX was just getting started, they couldn't even buy rocket engines. Every manufacturer turned them down, so they built their own, the Merlin engine. It wasn't the most powerful or efficient engine ever made, producing just 340 kilonewtons of thrust, barely enough to lift a fully loaded Boeing 747 off the ground, but it worked. And more importantly, it taught SpaceX a crucial lesson. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. This philosophy would become the foundation of everything SpaceX would build, including the revolutionary Raptor engine. But creating Raptor wasn't just about making a bigger, better Merlin. SpaceX needed something that had never been successfully built before, a full-flow stage combustion engine that could power humanity's journey to Mars. Think about the challenge for a moment. Inside a rocket engine, Temperatures reach levels that would melt almost any metal known to humanity. Pressures build up to levels that could crush a submarine. And all of this has to work perfectly, thousands of times without failing. One tiny flaw, one small miscalculation, and the entire engine could destroy itself in milliseconds. The secret to making this work lies in something surprisingly simple, the fuel choice. While other companies were using traditional rocket fuels like kerosene or hydrogen, SpaceX chose methane. Yes, the same basic substance you might use to heat your home or cook your dinner could help us reach Mars. But why? The answer reveals the brilliance of SpaceX's long-term thinking. Hydrogen, while incredibly efficient, is so cold and molecules so tiny that it literally seeps through solid metal. Kerosene is easier to handle, but leaves sooty deposits that make reuse difficult. Methane strikes the perfect balance. Clean burning, dense enough to handle easily, and most importantly, something we can manufacture on Mars using local resources. But fuel choice was just the beginning. The real revolution came in how SpaceX decided to use that fuel. Traditional rocket engines waste a significant portion of their fuel, literally dumping it overboard after using it to power the pumps that feed the main combustion chamber. It's like having a car where you spray some of your gasoline on the ground just to keep the engine cool. SpaceX's solution was the full-flow stage combustion cycle, something so complex that no one had ever successfully built one before. In this system, every single drop of fuel and oxidizer flows through pre-burners before reaching the main combustion chamber. Nothing is wasted, but making this work required solving problems that had stumped engineers for decades. The temperatures in these pre-burners can reach levels that would vaporize most metals, the pressure can exceed 600 bar, 
That's like having the weight of six fully grown elephants pressing down on every square inch of the engine. To solve this, SpaceX had to become not just a rocket company, but one of the world's most advanced metallurgy companies. They developed exotic alloys with names like SX500, materials that could withstand these extreme conditions. But even these weren't enough on their own. SpaceX had to develop innovative cooling systems, running the super cold liquid methane and oxygen through tiny channels in the engine walls, creating a protective barrier against the intense heat. The real breakthrough came with Raptor 2 and then Raptor 3. Each iteration stripped away complexity while adding power. The first Raptor produced 185 tons of thrust and weighed over 2,000 kilograms. Raptor 2 jumped to 230 tons of thrust while dropping 400 kilograms of weight. But Raptor 3, that's where the magic really happened. When SpaceX unveiled Raptor 3, 